Hello midwifery community. My name is Leslie Cornwell, certified nurse midwife with Midwifery Business Consultation. I'm here tonight to talk about cash flow quadrants, the, the four ways you can make money in today's society. Um, Rich Dad, Poor Dad, Robert Kiyosaki. I am a huge fan of him and every single book that their company, Napoleon Hill Foundation, has created. Um, I would strongly recommend if people are looking at switching into more of a business mindset and taking control of your finances, read Rich Dad, Poor Dad. Um, by far, that's an amazing book. And to get back to the cash flow quadrants, there's four ways in today's society to make money. You can make money the way most people are familiar with, W-2, working for a business, working for somebody else, getting paid as a contracted arrangement, your time for X amount of dollars per hour or a salary range, may or may not include benefits, um, and you hope you're saving enough for eventually to retire. Um, it's harder and harder to do that in today's society with the ups and downs of the stock market and the pension plans and the long-term employees committing to a corporation and the benefits they get out of it long-term. Um, Self-employment is another option. For self-employment, you have the highest taxes and out of those four quadrants, I personally think self-employed people work the hardest and they give the most hours in their time and but they have no limit to what they can make because they're making the product, they're making the service, they're deciding how big or small their business is gonna be. So there's no like constriction of market analysis, salary range that person can make, but if they stop working, the money stops. That's a big difference between self-employed and business owners. I am a huge, huge fan of the other two quadrants, the, the business ownership quadrants and the investor quadrants. So a business owner is completely different than self-employed. They can choose to work at their business. They can choose to be part of it. But if they want a vacation for the next two months, three months and go away, their business will still run whether they're there or not. They've created so many systems and staff and operations in place that them working is just icing on the cake, but the money's gonna come into them for that business they've established. It takes time, most of the, it's, it's a long-term investment. You have to work very hard to start a business and you have to have special skills to do that. Most people have to learn them, be mentored by the right people to have a successful large business that creates that passive income. The last one, which is my personal favorite, is the investor. Um, you can invest in anything and you can make it successful and not successful based on your knowledge and skills of that investment and how well you were prepared for it. So like my specialty is real estate investing and I love, love, love doing analysis and learning deals and the strategies and negotiating and creating contracts and what kind of real estate you can buy but I did classes, I did training, I had some amazing programs outside of midwifery taught me those things and I had mentors and I had support to create real estate portfolios to complement my midwifery businesses. So financial freedom in creating yourself, you can totally work for somebody if you love to, but I encourage you to have these other cash flow quadrants being utilized. There's pros and cons to each of them, and each person's path is different, but just knowing that there's four core ways to make money. W-2, working for somebody else. Self-employed, working for yourself business owner, larger scale entity, more operations in place, more responsibilities, or investor, big or small. You're, you're putting in some money into something that's gonna create you money whether you continue working at it or not. So my name's Leslie Cornwell. Please email, please join us at our website if you wanna learn more information about um, how to be successful financially um, being a midwife in today's society. Midwifery Business Consultation .com. Thank you, bye.